Hey, what's up, JoJo and the Morning Family? I hope you guys are ready for today because I want to talk to you about something that if you can grab a hold of what I'm going to share with you today, it will absolutely, radically change your life forever. Now, there's a saying, man, some of my friends say, do the work. That's it. Do the work. What is the work? Depends on what you do. Whatever you do in your life, it could be ministry, business, vocation, hobby, working around the house, do the work and everything will work out for you. Okay, so let's jump into this. Let's go to James 1.22. Be a doer of the word and not a hearer only deceiving yourself. Be a doer of the word, okay? When things in your life aren't exactly where you want them to be, get into the word of God, go through the word of God, dissect the word of God, and find what the word says that you can apply to your life and things will start to shift, okay? I remember I was at a conference with two of my friends in Kentucky one time and altar came up and a lot of these people, they put their, their phone on, the ladies would put their phone on their, their shoulder and, and put their head over like this and push record when we prayed for them to get a prophetic word. Men that had a shirt with a pocket, they'd put the phone in their pocket. And then me and my same friends, we were in Virginia a few months later and some of the same people came. And then I was down in the bottom part of Louisiana doing a conference and the same people came. And I remember I asked them, I said, you came up for prayer and a prophetic word, I'm gonna pray for you, but what have you done with the last prophetic words? And they were like, oh, nothing. I said, then why would you want another prophetic word when you didn't steward the last prophetic word? Why do you think God would wanna keep giving you prophetic words when you're not building according to the things that he's already spoken to you? When you receive a prophetic word, it is not an option. It is not just an opinion. It is a mandate from God. When you get a mandate, and you put action to it, it's mandatory that that is completed. That's why the word says, don't just be a hearer of the word. I mean, I mean don't just be a hearer, but be a doer. Uh, you know, I tell people all the time, like, like when I get I travel, and people say, oh man, I enjoyed your message. Really was the best thing I said. And they tell me, okay, now how are you gonna apply it to your life? And they're well, I said, you, you gotta apply the word. Every time I hear a message, every time I hear something, I want to apply some part of that word to my life, okay? Because it's making you better, because I'm a doer of the written word, I'm a doer of the prophetic word, I just don't hear it. These are not deaf ears, baby, I'm a doer. And then it says deceiving yourself. I see people in our church, when I'm preaching, some people are receiving some things and some aren't. But when people learn to receive as time goes on, they, they start to flow. They come to church and apply it. They come to our Roar Church, Texarkana. They come, they get the word, they apply it. People traveling from all over the nation to come to our church. And when they do, they'll message me, hey, I came to your service. What you preached, I applied it to my life. Okay, deceiving yourself is so many people will hear words, that's not for me, that's not for me, that's not for me, that prophetic word. And all of a sudden that they turn around and years later nothing's changed because they've heard the word, some people heard more word than you could ever imagine, but they don't apply it to their life and they don't do anything. Be around the doers, the people who are doing something. Col Colossians 3.23, and whatever you do, do it heartily as unto the Lord and not to men, knowing that from the Lord you will receive the reward of your inheritance for you serve the Lord Jesus Christ. A lot of times in life, people, they go to a job and they get frustrated with their boss or their coworkers. Well, you know what? According to this scripture, if God gave you the job, he's got you at the job for a reason. A lot of times the reason God gave you the job was not actually the job itself. It is to minister to the people around you. So whenever you, you do something, any type of work, you gotta do it as unto the Lord because God has blessed you and put you in a place for you to be able to do the things according 
according to the will of God. Now, a lot of people sometimes they may say, hey, Joe, uh, man, I, I got this calling. I, I want to be a doer. I've heard the word. I've got the prophetic word. I got the vision from God. I've had a prophetic dream. But honestly, I don't know how to move forward. Proverbs eleven fourteen, where there is no counsel, the people fall. One translation says the people fail. Um, but in the multitude of counselors, there is safety. Okay? And so, like me personally, I've got people in my life. I talk to some of my mentors every week. A week will not go by that I'm not in communication with one of my mentors, one of my counselors, because they help keep me straight. Okay? Um, when, you know, I have two main mentors in my life and they're kind of like you ever been bowling with kids and they got those uh bumper guards that's kind of what my two mentors are they make sure going straight i also tell people it's the holy spirit my wife that keep me going straight but because i want to be a doer i want to do the work when god gives me a prophetic word i'm like okay joe joe do the work wake up every morning do the work I i'm going to move forward in what i'm called to do i'm going to do the work and so I want to be a doer. I don't want to hear a prophetic word that if I'm not going to move on it. I don't want to hear a sermon just to hear a sermon. I want to hear a sermon and apply it to my life. I'm going to do the work according to what God has. Okay? So a lot of times in life, people get stuck. They need to find a counselor. They need to find a mentor. That is why we have a mentoring program because I love helping people to move forward, to advance. Some people are stuck in, in one area and if they can get past that one area, everything will shift in their life and they will go forward. So my friends, I'm telling you today, do the work that God has for you. Yeah, I, I, I look at so many people and, and I just say, man, you are called to do so much more than you're currently doing. I can see it on you. But somewhere in their mindset, they have one or two things that are holding them back. That's why having a counselor is good. That's why having somebody that can speak in your life is good. So friends, I'm telling you, this is a season that we are to move forward. We are supposed to advance and we're supposed to build according to the Lord. So the word for the day is do the work. Love you guys.